Hello everyone, it's Sourcing Rob back with an all new video of Cinema 40 again. And yes, I've been getting interested in Cinema 40 for a lot for a while, so I've been like completely mesmerizing and doing all these things about Cinema 4D. So I hope we're gonna be going over and doing a lot more stuff in Cinema 4D. I've been saying that for more than one time, Cinema 4D, Cinema 4D, okay. So here we are and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys about sub polygon displacement. Now sub polygon displacement if you haven't heard that about it, it's really awesome and really amazing to work inside of Cinema 4D if you want to try it out. So probably, probably if you guys would know what um, those power splashes are. Powder splashes, maybe just some of the type of that I just Oh, something like that. I don't know what, I'm, what am I typing, but if you have seen these things, like these things, they come off like this, that. So it, we can create a lot of things like these. This one's of Adobe Stock, I hope. So today we're going to be working over to that, and we're creating these. So the first thing is that we don't need um, that. I don't know what to say. Um, Octane renderer here. We're going to be. We're not going to be using it today. Instead, we're gonna be using some pictures of nebula, like one here. You can find these nebula. Also, this one's pretty much dope. Ones is given below in the description. If you want that, you can get it out there. And just in case if you need it, um, you can search it out on Google, like nebula, and make sure that you get some really high resolution TIFs because these are they are needed. Okay, we're inside of Cinema 4D. The first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and create a landscape. Um, you can also try out Sphere, but I don't think Sphere works with that what I'm creating today so let's take down the width segments to be 75 depth segments to be 75 rough for a zero fine for a zero scale apply to level zero so that we get a plane now tip it out spherical and let's make the size around um, 200 and take also size around 200 because you don't want this depth side to be stressed out like that okay here we go we have our sphere pretty much looking dope you can simply create a sphere out of that but it wasn't like necessary to be created like some so but I do hope it's gonna like send working with that so we're gonna be using landscape for now we have our landscape and it's sphere so you can literally name it as sphere sphere and now let's create a new material let's open this material and let's disable all the channels go to luminance channel and enable this channel let's take our nebula don't know where it is and no for that so we don't need it we have our luminance channel set it up okay now let's name it like an ATD mat one and for this let's take this and drag it out there on displacement and enable on the texture also enable sub polygon displacement this is where the fun stuff starts now enable around geometry take the subdivision level like six you can crank it up to 12 12 I think 12 is the maximum level but I prefer it at six okay um, now one thing that could happen is like you're gonna be going off your mind you're gonna doing everything but it won't literally work what well, it doesn't work because I've been working around and I just messed everything and I was thinking like why man why is not displacement showing up and, and then I realized after 15 to 20 minutes that the displacement channel was turned off so turn it on there you get the displacement yes let's close this and apply this material to this and let's zoom in a bit and also you're feel free to find out the place that suits you the most like this one forever as always just suits perfectly now let's render it in our viewport let's see what we get so wait for it prepares the displacement first so you can see we're getting polygon displacement pretty much down where it could find itself but what about the powder splatters how you can increase them what is the thing that you could do here to make them go way out so let's go inside of a material let's go our displacement and crank up the height maybe around I don't know what I'm thinking but 500 I don't think it's gonna work I, I do hope it's gonna work but it's gonna blow everything up also for the sake of this material let's enable glow and not that much let's take the inner strength to 20 and outer strength to 50 so we get our glowiness we we'll just take that zero and I don't know what this stands for <laughs> okay so you can remove your material just in case if you want it but let's just render it out let's see what we get so this is gonna take time rendering because it generates a displacement the just displacement height is a way more than it should be compared so you can take this a render photo inside of Photoshop and then do a lot more stuff so let's try this out all right so while rendering <laughs> I literally realized that I just cranked it up way more than it should be it's it's I don't know what it's forming up but I should stop it go back 
go to displacement channel turn the height around 200 i just maybe way went way too far than i should go just it's it's experimental you need to go around experiment around things and that's where you can get your results off so just wait for it okay so there we go we're getting the results that we are per partially searching for so we get the powder splash type of thing so you know now how you create these now if you want to do more you can take like two three nebulas and combine them together to get some sort of effects maybe add them to multiply and do a lot more stuff these these things look pretty dope uh, and one more thing one more tip displacement maps are not generated in viewport live so just in case if you don't have it you won't get it generated um, if you're having renders like Arnold or maybe renders which will obtain like with renders that provide you live uh, scenery of a uh, live scene or, or live port view or how you can go through so there's something you can do more just in case you want to know it I'm gonna take this down to 20% or maybe just 20 centimeter because I don't want really high timing and I'm also gonna take down some division level of rendering time so just create a new background and let's take it down below instead of this background what this background is, if you pretty much know these are the infinite rooms you can create just in case to make your renders look good now turn the color on and let's take to RGB and maybe a bit of pink tint that I want here just like that now if you render it there you go you're having your color splash and every background set it up and things that you can do pro tip if you want something like a fireball there's a lot of things you can do in this so I hope I'm gonna be coming up a tutorial with that um, for this it would be it for today I hope you enjoyed this video make sure just to like and subscribe for more and it's also not from Fuzzy Tech signing out <laughs>